Hey guys, I am apparently a mad scientist according to this hair, but actually I'm just a really tired teenager. My name is Jonah Battle, and today I will be talking about the northern green frog. Now, these range from the Carolinas in the United States up to Canada, and they're a really cool amphibian, and I will be talking about housing them today. Now, these frogs aren't commonly kept in captivity necessarily, like, um... But if you wanted a really easy pet that you wouldn't have to buy, you could just go catch from the wild or um, something like that, or even in your backyard or something like that, then these would be really easy to keep. Now, when you are thinking of doing this, they do live for up to 10 years in captivity. Their life expectancy in the wild is unknown, but it is about um, 10 years in captivity if they're kept in the right conditions. And I'm trying to get you, if you have a northern green frog, to keep them in the right conditions. That's why I'm making these videos. So, to start off, I like to say how big they will get, because that's, I think, an important factor when housing them. They will get two, about two inches to three and a half inches. So they're not very large. Well, actually, that's kind of a bit. They are kind of large frogs, actually. I mean, like... That's pretty big for a frog, I think, in length, because they're probably the same width um, <laughs> if you feed them like I do. Anyway, so I have mine back there where the uh, light just shrunk down. And one thing that you have to keep in mind, which I think is the most important thing about ho housing them with these frogs, is that you're going to need a polydorarium or a polyvorarium, something like that, I forget if it's a D or a V, but um, that means they have to have land and water. Now, I think that this could go either way, two ways with the frog. It could be 50-50, have land and water, um, but to keep in mind with that, you're then I have to have it like pretty deep water. Uh, I read online that it's like seven to six inches, which is like pretty deep if you just want to put a bowl in it's like aquarium or something like that so there are they're like more more semi-aquatic than some species um and then i think you could also keep it 75 percent water and 25 percent land and the reason i think this is because that's how i keep mine and i mean i've had i'm he seems to be living just fine. He gets to eat every day. He he has enough space to move around like I see him in different places. I really don't see him move too often, but it, he's not, like, refined to, like, one lily pad. Um, He's refined to one rock, actually. No, I'm just kidding. He, he has some uh, different places to move. Now, another thing to keep in mind with the, these are hides. They they're probably going to want to hide at some point. Now, they're not going to be staying underwater like an African clawed frog. Um, so, I don't really worry about anything in the water. Mine really doesn't seem to swim all that much, um, which is kind of weird. But I think since it's wild, it kind of freaks out when it's swimming because it goes up against the glass and it gets real scared. So, the only time it ever swims is if it jumps off um, because I'm feeding it or something like that. So I don't really worry about any of the fish or anything like that. One thing you are then want to keep in mind is how big the fish are, because they will try to eat them. I've seen mine try to eat mine before, but it's very rare, and he won't like go after them immediately if you're keeping them well fed. Um, as long as the fish can't like eat them, my fish kind of bug him if he's in the water, but um, it's nothing too bad. They normally leave him alone. So I'm gonna show you. Um, how I keep him now. This is much more close up. So I have him right here on, uh, so I have this little stack of rocks as you can see, and then he just sits on top. Now he has these two logs, or these two sticks, and that's where he normally sits. And then I normally drop his food right down here, kind of. And then he also, which you might not think he's he's looking at me. It's it's pretty rare to see him move, but like if I I'm making a lot of motion, he's like, "Ooh, there's food." There's also some area to move back behind him. Sadly, my camera's focusing on this part, not the uh, what's behind beyond it. But he'll sit back there in the little foliage with all the pothos plants, and it's real cool. 
he's looking up like there's gonna be food it's pretty funny um so he has all that foliage to hide in and that's what he normally will um do and that's what i consider his hide um, but I guess if you're going to be keeping them on much more of a polyvarium where, um, a polyvarium, I think it's polyvarium, um, you might want to have, like, a normal frog that, I mean, a normal hide that you'd have, like, for a diff, like, any normal reptile. So, obviously, mine's about, I guess, I guess I'd say it's about two inches, maybe one and a half, so it's not an adult and I'd definitely say, like, 75% would be twice this amount, probably, in this 20-gallon tall. Um, which I, I'll probably give it that sometime um, in the future. But I have it in with a bluegill and a minnow, and they'll kind of pick, pick at them if he gets in the water. But, again, it's not too bad. So I'd say this is pretty ideal for his living. <laughs> Basically, he really likes to eat. As you can see, if I go, like, yeah, he's like, ooh, there's food. Um, this is what he seems to do well in and like, so, yeah. I already kind of gave a description of what kind of fish you could put in with him, or in with it, but, um, what, one, another thing that I like to cover in these housing videos is if you could keep two or not. Now, again, they're not kept so readily, so there's not as much experience with them, and I haven't had any experience with keeping two of them. But my thought would be, if it's smaller, then it might try to eat it. Um, and if there's two males, I have no idea if they'd fight. If there wasn't a female and there was two males, I'd think they'd be okay. But I don't even know if there was a female and two males. Obviously, the space for them is going to need to double if it's um, if they're gonna if there's gonna be two of them. Now that might be the that might not be the case if there's like a lot of land and I don't know kind of how I have it set up it definitely need a double because they'd probably be touching if they were sitting on the logs and they probably wouldn't want that so yeah if you were gonna have like um dirt and then water kind of you'd probably be more all right if you had it like 50 50 with the water and land also what I'm gonna talk about is I like to do baby size but obviously when they're babies they're gonna be tadpoles and I kind of want to cover care for a tadpole they should be good in a aquarium as a tadpole but um definitely want to watch out if the fish are gonna eat it or if you have an adult frog it might try to eat it as well so um that's kind of care for a tadpole real easy and for tank size what I'd just say whatever it's comfortable with. You're probably gonna want a twenty gallon long if you're gonna do um like keep it real right. But um mine isn't a twenty gallon tall and it really doesn't have much moving space, but it seems to be fine, you know, like I'm not I'm not putting it I don't know, I'm not taking it completely out of the wild, putting it on like some kind of like concrete or something like that. I don't know. I'm just trying to imagine like a caged animal. I'm not really doing that. I'm kind of putting it in a piece of a river just in my room. And again, seems to be happy and um like it's eating well. It's not too stressed not to eat. It's really used to me. So I hope this helps if you do have a northern green frog and if you do, you're a cool person. I I'm just going to say that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it helped, like it down below. If you have any comments or concerns, then put it in the comments below, and if you want more content, like next week I will be doing a video on lighting for these guys, which will be way shorter than this one, and um, then subscribe if you want more content. Hope you have a good day. See you this weekend. Yeah. Oh, that's food. It's nice and healthy. Sitting in there. Look this way. It's pretty sweet.